Hello and welcome to this episode of Alberta Jobcast. I'm your host, Dean Owen. Alberta Jobcast can be found on the web at albertajobcast.com. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, iTunes, and any of the many social networking sites where folks like to go for their news and information. This is a sample Jobcast. In this sample, Darren Celine from Rig Wright Electrical in central Alberta talks about a new position he has open with his company. In this position description, he'll talk about some of the details, what he's looking for, for the ideal job candidate, and how to apply for the job. We're talking with Darren Celine at Rig Wright Electrical, and he has a job uh, opening, and he's going to tell us something about it. What, what exactly is the job uh, posting name or the job name that you've got uh, open right now, Darren? Well, at present, I'm uh, advertising for a uh, second-year apprentice, a predominantly industrial electrical background. And when you talk about industrial and uh, background, what, what kind of skills would be involved with that? Basically, uh, with the electrical uh, industry there, it's basically broken down into uh, residential, commercial, and industrial. Uh, as far as industrial goes, you, you're directed more towards um, oil field uh, uh, as well as heavy uh, construction, that type of thing. My company is is uh, oil and gas industrial orientated, and I am presently uh, filling a contract for um, building accumulators, which are used within the uh, oil and gas industries. Uh, what exactly do you expect from this position? What kind of skills and talents and behaviors what will they need to have? I'm looking for, uh, again, a second year with the ability to work independently um, with, with little supervision. By uh, second year, you should be, have a, a basic knowledge of electrical and be able to uh, follow concepts. It's uh, assembly work, so the ability to work, as I say, unsupervised or with little supervision when uh, assembling uh, the various components that are required to be installed on these accumulators. Is there any travel involved with this position? Uh, There would be basically to and from a a manufacturing facility where the uh, accumulators are actually uh, built and assembled. Okay, whereabouts is that located? That would be in the uh, Innisfil area. Okay, and whereabouts is Innisfil? Innisfil is, again, central Alberta. It's um, approximately 40 kilometers south of uh, Red Deer, Alberta. Okay, so that's in that Highway 2 corridor. Or the. Uh, yes, okay. yes, thereabouts. Would this position require any special certifications or um, tickets or anything like that? Well, as uh, a second year, basically you're only required to uh, you know, be indentured uh, have an active uh, apprenticeship uh, program in place. And again, with oil field, and there's uh, oil and gas, there's, there's stipulations of having a valid uh, H2S ticket uh, first aid. In the event that uh, we are required to go into the field and do some service work on an uh, existing accumulator that would be actively working in the field, well, then we would be required to have first aid H2S and be clean-shaven to get on the, on the site and actually work on the system. Okay, so there would be some field work involved with this position then? The potential is there potential for field work, so okay. work to, okay. to be there, yeah. So how much does Rig Wright pay for a second uh, year apprentice? Well, there's a structured um, pay rate that goes along with the, uh, with the trade. A second year would be making 60% of what a journeyman rate is for a journeyman electrician. So that would set him at their their about set at about approximately uh, eighteen dollars an hour or something. Do you supply any other uh, materials, tools, or? Uh, I have a, a tooled uh, truck, and uh, tools are supplied for the most part. As a second year, the uh, second year should have a base set of tools that he's uh, actually working with that are his own personal tools: hand tools, screwdrivers. Hacksaw, tape measure, that, that type of thing. In terms of uh, skills and uh, learning, 
Would you be uh, open to somebody who comes from another area of uh, electrical work, say residential? Uh, or is there an opportunity to be trained in uh, this type of work that you're offering? Uh, there's always training involved. As an apprentice, you are under the direction of the journeyman, and it is the journeyman's responsibility to see to it that certain criteria are met as far as the apprenticeship goes. Basically, what it boils down to is a per, uh, individual Duality, like a, a second year residential, you know, how, how keen is he? How sharp is he? What kind of background does he have prior to uh, to doing electrical, right? Um, everybody's different. Everybody's work history is different. You could, um, prior to being becoming a, an electrical apprentice, have a, a vast background in various um, industries, which are always an asset to bring with you with anything you do. So depending on the individual, it just really is in the air as to whether uh, a second-year residential person or a second-year commercial person or a second-year industrial person actually receives the, the position, right? And that just depends on how the interview goes. And, uh, you know, when a person looks at his resume and, or her resume, whichever, as to what kind of background they have. So in terms of uh, this job posting, uh, I need some dates if you have them handy there. When are you looking to fill this position? Well, um, the position is, is now being posted, so at uh, any any given time, depending on how soon the likely candidate um, meets the criteria, it, it could be tomorrow or it could be uh, you know next week or the week after, depending on how soon it takes to actually find the right person to fill the position. Um, I guess I'd ask if there was a closing date, but it sounds like it's until a suitable candidate is found. If I was interested in this, uh, what would I have to do to apply for the job? What would I have to give you, and how do I get a hold of you? Well, you can uh, reach me by phone at area code 403-505-0967, and that's Rigray Electrical. Or you could email me your resume at dceline at shaw.ca. So is there anything else you wanted to tell us about uh, the job ad and uh, the posting for, for a second-year apprentice? Um at present, there's uh, no benefit package in place once the contract gets rolling here, and we can uh, definitely look into uh, setting up some type of a benefit package, but uh, presently there are no benefits involved with the uh, position. I look forward to uh, perusing through uh, the applicants' resumes and hopefully finding the uh, appropriate candidate. Well, thanks a lot, Darren. We'll talk to you later. Thank you. Bye now. Remember, you can find us on the web at albertajobcast.com. And thanks a lot to Will Krisky for today's music. That's Will Krisky at willkrisky.com. Mm-hmm.